This is going to be the best part of the day right here. There, there are going to be some incredible... Hey, what, what's amazing is that how many people are thankful in the middle of their circumstances, in the middle of all the struggles. And, and that's God. In Psalms 50, he says, Sacrifice thank offerings to God. Fulfill your vows to the Most High. And call on me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you will honor me. Those who sacrifice thank offerings honor me and to the blameless I will show my salvation. So, we go to that place right here where one person from each table is going to come up here and for one to two minutes, no more, offer a heave offering to God in spite of the circumstances or what I am so thankful for and will rejoice as a group together and be so thankful as to what God has done. Okay? Okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can go on video, too. <laughs> I tell them who you are. Okay, I'm Bob Yoder. Um, been coming to Blue Ridge a little over, over a year, and uh, I'm feel a little self-conscious sharing this because my view of what I'm going to tell you is so different from what even what it was six months ago. Um, in 07, I had encephalitis. I don't know if you know what that is, but your brain swells, and if you don't stop it, you, you die. And with me, it left me almost totally disabled. I couldn't walk, I couldn't write, I couldn't drive, I couldn't work. I couldn't process thoughts, I couldn't do mechanical <coughs> things, which was always my strength. But the hardest thing about that whole thing was I could not find God's presence anywhere. Not in scripture, not in, not in song, not in prayer, not anything. It's just like God abandoned me. He hadn't, and I knew that in my head. But the reality was I lived day after day not knowing where he was at. And so that was really tough. But today, I'm grateful for the experience. Um, there was a time I wasn't. I, we had a converse, Woody and I had a conversation about that. I wanted to crawl off the anvil and quit this business. But in the middle of all that process, I said, God, is this all there is? I mean, we've been through some stuff before. We lost a baby in 79, lost a business in 80. We had a, it took 28 years to pay that. We chose to, to pay out and not go bankrupt. And then and we had a uh, young four-year-old four -year daughter was molested, and all this stuff, and I'm thinking, God, is this all there is? I mean, just one hard thing after another. But what I didn't understand was that there was a whole lot of good stuff I wasn't thanking him for. And I didn't even share this in the table, you know, and I can't take the time now. But, but what I realized, it's changed my, pro my, my whole focus on, on God, my whole concept of God's love. I had this fuzzy, warm concept of this was God's love, but the tough stuff, that must be from the devil. But I realized God's design for us is to, when we get to eternity, we'll look back on the stuff God has done with what he's put in our life and allowed in our life and see the fruit of all that, and we'll think the little stuff we've gone through is nothing. You know, the stories you've heard shared here this morning, I've encouraged you, I'm sure. I haven't heard them all, but... You know, looking on this now, I realize my concept of God is totally different. I see his long-term way of dealing with us, and I see how much he loves us. He loves us enough to hurt us if we need it. And he loves us enough to teach us and redo our thinking and transform our minds so that we can look at life God's way. We have compassion for people that go through stuff instead of this Pharisaic, judgmental attitude that was so much a part of me. So just encourage you to keep on letting God do what he's doing. <laughs> Good morning, my name is Nick. Uh, you may not know this about me, but I suffered or am suffering from depression. And uh, I got to this point where I was in a really uh, dark low place and I'd uh, kind of given up and abandoned God and God is a God that gives us free will he's powerful enough to allow us to do what we want and uh, I ended up uh, 
doing something really stupid and I had a one night stand on my wife and uh, I'm not the type of person that really lies ever so I knew that when I got back I was going to tell her the truth and I just figured that my life as it was was over and that my family would probably you know um, disown me and that sort of thing and uh, then I learned one of the greatest things about God is God is a God that forgives us and gives us second chances and uh, so that is what I'm thankful for this year is the uh, chance for second chances the, uh, the chance that I don't have to live where I was and I don't have to live in the day of my biggest mistake and that I can move forward and that uh, my biggest prayer is just that uh, I learn every day more of what that means that uh, God allows us to uh, be free and that the only true source of happiness is through him. My name is Kevin, quiet one, and um, I've ha I had a conversation with Will last week, and he asked me to write, come up with a list of what I'm thankful for, and I just started that list like this morning because I had <laughs> 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 I've been having a little bit of trouble being thankful. I've been kind of down on myself a lot lately because I just came to a end of our relationship and I'm kind of wondering if I'd ever have a relationship was I worthy of a relationship and um, kind of down on myself and a couple of other things said at the table this morning were and I forgot them <laughs> <laughs> give me a minute um, mm, yep there I go They don't have them either. They don't have them either. Okay. <laughs> so where are you in the process? Um, of being thankful. Of being thankful. Um, thankful for the ability to come around out of that and through that. And I remember something Will said, this is a school. This is teaching me something. So I'm looking for what he's teaching me and stuff that I'm still asking myself the question, why am I here? And that he's still teaching me in all of this. Josh. All right, man. All right. I'm Josh. Um, as we were talking at our table, it was just really neat because we were all talking about what God was doing in our lives and we just thought how cool that is that God is uh, big enough to do stuff in all of our lives but we all had a common theme we had a common thread and um, it was we wanted to thank God for a different perspective um, and you can flip on the news and you can look at stuff and you can just think to yourself man you know where's the hope and all this but um, there are times when God does stuff in our lives and it's and it's subtle you know and sometimes we don't see it until later on but um, just realizing that God is changing the way that the way that we look at stuff and just um, how there are situations that could look pretty grim or however you want to say it but just God's grace in that is just a beautiful beautiful thing and so Really what we experienced and what we talked about at the table was um, God is just renewing and changing our mind. And, um, and it is a, a beautiful thing. And so looking at life different is, um, is what we were thankful for, that God is, is changing in us. It's what are you thankful for? And I really, not to go with the band, you know, but that is really what we were talking about, um, what God is doing in us and in that and in that area of the perspective you know God is changing our hearts he's given us 
a desire to pray for situations that are harder. He's given us strength in areas that we can't do it in our own strength, and he's changing that in us, and he's given us desires to pray for our wives and pray for the people that we're around and pray for opportunities, you know? And so it's just, it's, it's the upside down kingdom um, that we're thankful for. So. son I, I'm new to Blue Ridge generally I've I've just recently found God and what I would we were talking about was being thankful for is you know the general like all the good things that happened uh, people we care about and the things that we care about but what I was thinking was more of like everything that you go through all that we've been through all the the trouble and the hardships and and how that <coughs> makes you who you are in the long run it's not really about the good stuff it's it's more or less about the hardships and the things that you had to deal with and how that changes a person and how that is really a gift from God and something to be thankful for because in no way would you be the person that you are if you didn't have to fight through that or you know struggle with that or whatever it may be what's the hardship that you've been through um, recently, I was I was unemployed for a long time, so it was financial, and then you know emotional hardships. I've I've also been depressed and things like that. When I was younger, I struggled with addiction, and that's something that you struggle with all the time. And and if it wasn't for those things, if it wasn't for me being able to be through those things, and now that I'm pretty much outside of those things, I can look back on that and see the lessons that that it taught me and the good things about what it was. And that's really what I'm thankful for. Thank you. Who from your table? Scott? Good morning, my name is Scott. Um, I'm thankful for um, a God crushing a uh, marriage two years ago bring me out of the darkness and bring me into the light. Taking the broken, beaten, and scarred uh, soul, dead soul, and bring me back to life. Um, I fought him, and I fought him hard. I prayed, begged, to bring the marriage back together, but uh, he showed me the light and said, Scott, it's, it's not good for you. You're on the wrong path. That's why I crushed it. Okay? That's why I put you on a different direction. <clears throat> That's why it took you from um, the throes of uh, possible suicide, thinking about it, okay, and thinking my life was over with, and uh, bringing me to Blue Ridge, bringing me to y'all, okay. Never forget the first person I ever met was that man right there. Walked in on a Friday and a Thursday, and there's Ray. Hey, how you doing? Right on the corner seat. Now we went in, now we share the back row um, every Thursday. But um, to take the broken shell of a man, and to sit there and replant the seeds, his seeds, and to sit there and um, bring me back to life, uh, show me compassion, show me grace, show me patience, to sit there and open up my eyes to see what really he's all about and what he has in store for my life. And I mean, I'm just excited and I'm so, so thankful. And never did, never would I think I'd, I'd stand here and say that I'm thankful he went in and crushed a 26 year marriage. But the life I have today is in no way in comparison the life that I've ever had before. I'm so alive, it goes beyond words. And to be able to sit there and talk to people and share the pain that I went through and be able to be part of the healing process, which is through divorce care, okay, is just absolutely phenomenal. And even I'm service director for new car dealership, okay. This cross is, is out in the open all the time and it sparks conversations and I share God with customers. So instead of hiding and running and being away from God, he's, he's, he's working some stuff in me, guys, and it just keeps going and going and going. And I'm just so thankful that they've used all of you, Woody, Steve Collins, who's, who's not here, Steve, okay, Ray, as vessels. Okay, you, he's just poured all of you into me, okay? And now he's pouring into me also and just putting out his love and grace. So that's what I'm thankful for. Yeah. 